Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Just a quick video to show you how to properly import an A2A aircraft into FSI Panel. The procedure is the same for Cessna, Piper. Right now we have four aircraft available from A2A. So let's see how we proceed. So now I will import the uh, PA-28, the Cherokee. So as you see, the airplane is on ground on uh, any runways you like. Just make sure like for any importation in FSI Panel that your weather is set to clear sky all right so now what we need to do here i will just get rid of the okay this one all right can stay what i want to do now is make sure that there is no major malfunction on the aircraft so i use shift 7 and i see here that my aircraft is like new and now i will start the engine and we need to put around 1000 rpm on the uh, engine to make it stable so to start the engine i will use the uh, quick fetter from uh, a to a so shift three sorry shift three and we have auto start so i will do this one of course you can make it yourself yes just to make a quick video so i want to do it quick and i will put 1000 rpm around on the tachometer all right now we check that we have all the switch in the right position so what we need to check is that we have the strobe lights on because we're going to take off the fuel pump nav light landing light beacon and then the mixture is full reach and here as well very important make sure that all your avionics are on so we need to see radio are on adf transponder dme GPS if installed, everything is on. So now we will be ready for takeoff. I mean, ready for departure. So what we'll do now, we will import the aircraft. So my view, I like it to have, I like my view to be like this, let's say, fine. So now I will take FSI panel. Okay guys, back to FSI panel. Now I need to uh, prepare my approach. So let's see, I would like to do a visual approach in Lausanne La Blechette, a small airfield in Switzerland. So I select the airport. I will choose runway 36 and 4 nautical mile is good enough for me. So let's move the aircraft. When we move the aircraft, FSI panel, as always, will take care of the system. So here we should not touch anything, just wait, unless we are instructed to do so. So here what we need to check is the mixture is rich and we need to put our power a little bit forward. And now you will see FSI panel doing his job. So here the only thing I have to do is uh, maintain the airspeed that I want. FSI panel now is configuring my autopilot and my radio. And if I have an ILS, the ILS will be tuned here. So here it's a visual approach, so we have no ILS. And that's it. And now we get, please configure the aircraft as desired, check nav setting and when ready, take control. So here the small warning that we have is the autopilot asking me to trim up. So I just need to trim up a little bit and that should help the autopilot with the force on the elevator. That's it. Okay, so now you see my aircraft is moving forward, it's not a problem. When I will take control, the aircraft will go back at the desired position. So now at this stage what we can do is to configure the airplane. If you're happy like this with your nav setting, with your flaps, flaps up, that's fine. If you prefer to have the aircraft now configured already with some flaps you could put some flaps so let's see now i would like to have some flaps so i will add some flaps i leave the autopilot of flying now we have set one dot of flaps and i can reduce my speed accordingly let's say i'd like 80 knots for now and now i feel happy to take over control so i need to hold my brake for one second so i will press my brake one second and you're back at the uh, desired position and when ready you just have to release pause so release your pause you have control and now you can disconnect your autopilot and that's it you can fly your visual approach and that's it i will pause the sim i will show you now if we have an ILS approach so let's say now we want to do the same approach but in geneva and uh, Geneva, I will take runway 23 and we want to be in vectors this time. And I will move the aircraft, which will be at 3,800 feet. Move aircraft. 
let's see what's happening. Here I had flaps already one, one dot, so we have flaps extended. So the flaps would be again uh, extended. So we have to be careful with that as well when we configure the airplane. So let's see here, we see Geneva. We just again check our mixture and check our power and the flaps are done, perfect. Let's see. Set your power as desired. So here I want to increase a little bit the speed. FSI panel will then take care of my autopilot and my nav setting. Let's see. The autopilot, as you can see now, is being configured for you. And now configure the aircraft as desired, check nav setting and when ready, take control. Okay, so again, now I can check my nav setting. I have the ILS one way two three, which is set on nav one and nav two, and the course will be set here two two five and you have it as a backup here, 225. So everything is set, I'm ready to fly this ILS approach. So, okay, I take, this is again the autopilot asking me to trim, trim up, trim down. So I will disconnect the autopilot anyway. All right, so now I hold my brake once again. I'm back at the desired position and I release the pause and now I have control. So I just can disconnect autopilot and now we can fly our ILS approach. We can see nicely here our uh, localizer deviation, as you can see, and the runway, which is right there at 11 o'clock. So we are on a nice 30 degrees intercept to fly this approach. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the method to import and to fly A2A aircraft with FSI panel. The method is the same for uh, the Comanche, the uh, Cessna 172 and the Cessna 182. So I wish you a lot of successful approach and a nice training. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, please uh, post your question down uh, below the video and I will try to reply. Thank you and as always, safe landings. Thank you guys. Bye bye.